ways were blocked. On my way home, I found like all the normal ways I would go home were blocked. <laughs> it was pretty fucking crazy. Felt like a horror game. It, fe- it definitely feels like a horror game when you're on like the backwoods roads and you pull up to like a tree that you can't get by. It's like, fuck. And there, you know, there are houses on the other side. It's like, imagine if you lived on the other side, you'd have to just park here and like run to your house. It's kind of crazy. I mean, luckily, you know, I have enough stuff so that you can get through a couple days with no power, but I'm sure there's people that were affected way more than I was. It just also sucks that, you know, my job is dependent on being able to get to my fucking computer. You know what I mean? Um, so that's a little frustrating. Or anything, you know, at all. That's what I mean about getting set up the stream from a phone occasionally or something like that. All right, I don't know where I want to start tonight. Because that could have made for, like, an interesting stream, just, like, wandering through the woods. I just don't know how much those plans are. They can get pretty pricey. The, The equipment you need to stream like that. All right, what game... I think some of these I've done already. Yeah, the spooky pictures. It was just so hot in the house that I was hanging out in the car most of the time, too. I was like, damn, I could just, like, get set up to camp out, basically. All right, let's do that. Look at that. Okay, let's let's check this shit out. I got a couple spooky games from Itch. It's really loud. This looks familiar. Between these walls. Also, fortunately, you can just download things from Spotify and Netflix now when you have service. Oh, yeah, I've definitely played this. There must have been an update for this one or something. Um, What the hell was I going to say? Oh, yeah, you can, like, just download things from Netflix and Spotify when you have service, so... I started watching Dark. Oh, yeah, I remember this picture. Yeah, I definitely played this. Your father and I are pretty furious with the way you left us with your previous apartment. Oh, right. The bathroom gets filled up with boxes. And yeah, Dark is actually pretty cool. I've been... I'm hitting E. It'd been recommended a few times. And just it being in uh, German kind of like turned me off to it. I just, I, I, I don't know. I can't watch things subtitled sometimes. So like my d- attention gets so divided by other things. <clears throat> but then I saw the dub, and I f- was watching it for a while. And it was actually pretty decent. It's like all anime actors. Now nah, I took German for like three years. I just don't like listening and watching things <laughs> in another language. I don't understand. I guess like I really don't like watching things subtitled unless I'm like really into it. Is that bad attention span? Sometimes I'm like needing to do two or three things while I watch a show. It's just the way I do. That's just the way I do it. Oh, yeah, I definitely remember this. It depends, though. Since I, was, since I had no power, there was nothing else to do. So I was watching it subtitled for a while. Hmm. Like, I can't read something and listen to music or, uh, like, have a show on in the background or have, like, people moving around me and stuff like that. I need to be, like, engrossed in it, I guess. So it's easy for me to, like, just miss things. So I don't watch a lot of, like, subtitle anime and stuff. 
or I have to be like watching it with someone else. Like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. So he just works two floors below where he lives. It's a pretty good setup. Death Gibbs. For 20 years, dude. What's going on? And right, the marble stairs. I remember this. Should I reset the doom? Forgot about that guy. Well, the problem with me is I'm, you know, at my computer, it's also where I do a lot of work in addition to playing games and like talking to people. So whenever I'm watching something, I end up, you know, definitely checking Discord, checking my email, and, you know, doing other things. So I, you know, miss out on some stuff sometimes. Unless I can understand what I'm listening to. That's why it's nice to have a place in your your house where you can just like lay on the couch and watch TV or movies. Like I do love watching stuff at the computer, but it's not the best way to experience something. Let's face it. Let's face it. What's up, Palantir? How you doing? What's going on, everyone coming in? Yeah, finally got my fucking power back. I've been talking about it for a little while, but... Fucking sucked. The worst part of that is, like, you think you're going to get it back, like, within a... You're like, oh, I'm going to get it back soon. It'll, co it'll come back soon. And then it's, like, the next day, and you're like, it, it's going to come back soon. But I guess, you know, you could drive around and look at the damage from the storm and you knew that power was not coming back on for a few days. <clears throat> like, power lines were twisted up in the trees everywhere. I could not believe it. Like, he perfectly healthy oak trees just torn in half. Like, just in the power lines. Power line poles just, like, snapped in half. Which I've only seen a few times, really. And not from the wind, just from, well, from the wind, but things getting knocked over by the wind, like the force of a tree falling on the power line is what, like, snapped the pole in half. Where the hell am I supposed to go? What's up, Bluesy? But yeah, Dark was really good. I couldn't believe... You can't really discuss it without spoiling too much from the show, honestly, because it gets so fucking crazy so fast. But uh, I'd say it's like the German Stranger Things or something like that. It's kind of a comparison I would make. But the German Stranger Things, but like with way more of an age range and way more stuff going on. I'll go to sleep. And it's a way, it's a little bit more of a soap opera, but it gets really interesting. Oh, yeah, and the wall's gone. Yeah, the Transformer near here had to get fixed, too. Yeah, a little more Twin Peaks. Yeah, I could see it. Also, that one guy looks like Mads Mikkelsen. And then there's like eight people in the show named Mads, and then there's a guy named Mix. Or Mike's Mickelson. I don't know. There's too many. It's a little confusing. Really could show that I'm kind of disappointed I put it off watching it for so long. Speaking of Transformers, there's a new Transformers show, too. <laughs> Since I had nothing else to do, I, you know, downloaded and watched. It was actually kind of cool. Is a Netflix anime about Transformers. It was like, you know, CG, obviously. but It was the Netflix uh, anime studio that did it. It was all right.
you're into like the older generation, I think of Transformers. Like the old movie and shit. All right, time to go to bed. No. Nope. Uh, the boxes are starting to stack up. I listened to a bunch of uh, last podcasts on the left, too. Because I was, like, saving power on my phone to just, like, listen to that. What am I supposed to do here? It's nice that you can just, like, download stuff off Spotify like that and listen to it whenever you want without cell phone service or anything. There's actually a game I have downloaded. Oh, shit, he's down there. That someone made based on one of the stories that Henry told in the recent podcast about Slenderman. For the guy he made up. The monster. We'll play that next. It's just how he was born. Also, is the mouse button thing on the laptop like a little face? No. More boxes. Wherever you go, I'll always be there with you. It's not really that threatening. If it wasn't written in blood, it wouldn't it would just be like a fucking nickelback lyric or something. Did the radio say Suffer? I think it was just like the name of the band. I think it always said Suffer on it. Oh, dude. <gasps> Dramatic aberration everywhere. Oh, Move the posters around. He's got like little tiny feet, though. I like how the eyes just in the chest. It's, what a weird monster. Yeah, just an eye in the chest. <clears throat> oh my god, just almost choked on my ice tea. Hold on. <laughs> uh, he came right through between these walls I can't tell what they changed about that this is decent though um next all right this one's called ruins in me i don't know what it is even though my memory is foggy i know i made a decision and came here i must complete the ritual in this place okay you must find three keys to find your soul don't get caught by the evil souls. This looks kind of neat. A lot of dithering, but... What's up, law dog? Also, all the little kids in the neighborhood were, like, forming little gangs by the end of the power outage. There's, like, gangs of kids on big wheels rolling around. It's like some Mad Max shit. <clears throat> They're becoming restless. I think because they've been like 
locked up all summer. Now they were freed because of the, the power outage. Alright, maybe I only saw one kid on a big wheel, but there was a bunch of kids. I don't know why I'm trying to open these lockers. <gasps> Hello? You like my moonwalk? This feels like white day. The school design. Just like every Korean school like this. Oh. Ghosts absorb me. <clears throat> or I absorb the ghost. It's okay though, I'm just a little hurt. Can absorb a few ghosts. Yeah, I guess all the schools are just probably pretty similar. I mean, it even does look like a American school, too. It does. I have a few ghosts as a treat. What else have I watched over the past few days? I watched Jojo Rabbit. That was pretty good. I wasn't expecting it to be, like, as serious as it was at certain points, but it was pretty good. Hmm. I, I don't know. Yeah, it's like literally the same map. I think it might be. Yeah, like it start it starts out like way more funny than I thought it the whole tone of the movie was gonna be, but that's what we got. It was it was really good though. Nah, I, I did like the tone a lot. What's up, Azuma? <laughs> oh really? I haven't seen chicken poodle soup in a long time. Hope he's doing well. Glad he likes those emotes. Yeah, like w what we do in the shadows. I could definitely get some Flight of the Concords out of it. Like within the first 20 minutes. There we go. It's on HBO or HBO Max or whatever the fuck it's called now. Yeah, White Day scared the shit out of me the first time I played it. That was like one of the first real horror games I played on stream. It was free. The original White Day. It was just like a game you could download. Right? I'm hoping that's what it was. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you could just download it for free. And then they made like a real version of it. Like last year or the year before maybe. But I heard that was not very good. I heard it was not that great. Like, the original still might be better. The first Penumbra was free. Because it was just like a, a mod for something. Oh, dude, you watch Lake Mungo? I was just writing a little thing about some of my favorite movies, and I was talking about Lake Mungo. I love that movie. Shit is great. You know what we watched the other night, actually, in Discord, was uh, Session 9. I don't know if anyone here was watching with me, but that's another one that I really, really like. Very slow burn. Oh, yeah, Relic. Those guys were talking about Relic. Ah. I don't know if I'll, I would enjoy Relic. I don't know. 
I don't like the old lady thing. Might give it a shot, though. Those guys did say they enjoyed it. Red Letter Media. Yeah, Session 9 is on Netflix right now, if you are interested. If you're in the market for a slow burn psychological horror movie with some familiar faces in it. Not for everybody, but I really enjoy it. It's one of my favorites. There's a lot of people who kind of fucking hate on a lot of more recent horror movies that have released, and I don't blame them necessarily. No, too many ghosts! That's what it's like when there's too many horror movies. And there's definitely some crap out there, but some of the, like, more slower burn stuff that's come out, like, uh... Hereditary, I thought was amazing. Midsummer wasn't that great. It was okay. Um, the fuck else was I gonna say? It follows. I always really liked. There was another movie I was just thinking of that I was gonna describe, but it's like totally vanished from my my brain now. All right, here's the one that Henry from last podcast on the left made up. The Skungilly Man. Apostle. What's that? Ireless. Thank you for that Twitch Prime, dude. Possum. I don't know if I know that one. Boom, boom. Oh, yeah, I've seen the Vich. Vich is great. It's on Netflix. The Skungilly Man. It's about uh, calamari. I think. Don't say his name. It's like really quiet now. Hello? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Uh huh. Oh, there's something on the ground. You're brilliant. You're the best lover I ever received. I wish I could carry your baby. All right, let's not do this a lot. <laughs> I could never bring your child to term because it would rip through my guts. Love, wife. Yeah, it's all going to be like last podcast and love stuff. Is there another door here? I think every time you push the button, there's something else. Perhaps. There we go. 
There we go. I don't know who you are anymore. You only talk about the Skun Gilly. You only care about the Skun Gilly. I'm done. Bye. You know what to do. <laughs> Sleepy Boo. Thank you for that sub. Skajili man. Did we summon him by saying it three times in the mirror? What's up with the radio, though? I don't think there's anything else in this hallway. Yeah. Did I fuck it up by saying it four times? Skajilling man. Skajilling man. Skajilling man. Skajilling man. <laughs> that was so stupid and it was so good. If you watch the recent episode they did, then it'll explain it more. Bum, bum. I, I like the last pack on the left, but it's been kind of hard to get into. I only started really listening to it this year. Sometimes they like get like, I don't know, they get it just right. Sometimes it doesn't really do anything for me. I don't know. But this one was pretty good. The Slender Man one they were talking about. Yeah, well, I mean, just personality wise, I guess. I wasn't expecting it to be like that kind of podcast going into it, but that's that's it, man. That's what people like. And it is pretty enjoyable sometimes. You just have to be in the mood for it. Yeah, the subject matter has to actually be interesting. Or something I'm interested in, I guess. But who is he? Also, there's a limited amount of things you could talk about. Let's face it. Bum, bum. You're going to talk about all the cool things the first time. The first few years or something like that, then, you know, you got to do it all over again or something. Or you end up talking about the Skun Gilly, man. What the hell is this? Bum, bum, ba -dum. Usually around this time of year is when that kind of content starts getting really good. Like all the horror channels and stuff like that. Podcasts. Like they do a guest thing for Halloween where they have some of their friends come on. Just like tell a story. I usually like stuff like that. You are alone. Hey there. Thanks for looking after the house for the night. We know it's quite the odd request, but uh, well, thanks. Make sure you always rewind the grandfather clock. The grandfather's clock <laughs> upstairs and flip the hourglass before you sleep. Okay. I'm hitting E. It's not going away. Yeah, there we go. Why do they have just a picture of a boardroom? It's a griffin. Look at these giant light switches. Oven on top of the fucking counter. I don't think that's how that works. Nine hundred. Oh, that's a nine hundred degrees Fahrenheit. What? 
I've only lived in this house for four years now. The only place where I feel safe is my son's room. There is no statues there. No demanded chanting from Paul. No crazed worshipping from Tom. I've dug around outside for information about this Kronos. I believe I know how to get out of here. However, it will be at the sacrifice of someone else. Why was that under the cutting tray? Why would you believe that there? We moved here because this place was cheap. The owner looked uh, scared to enter the house and anxious for us to enter it. We didn't care much. We were desperate that there was... We were desperate. There was definitely something wrong with this place. The owner insisted we always wound up the grandfather's clock and we never touched the gold statues. Me and Paul both thought he was crazy, but we quickly realized the danger of our situation a day later. I tried touching the golden statues to get rid of them. They were in the way and it felt like they were watching me. I just didn't like them. However, as soon as my fingers touched it, I passed out. So, the world's greatest sleeping pill, you don't even, it's like a video game. You just touch it and you fall asleep. I'll take one of those. I would like to be able to sleep that easily. The fuck was that? Was that a person making a door sound? Oh. What is that sound at the end? Sounds like human. It sounds like a death throw. Like someone's like, Ugh. Uh, what's wrong with this toilet? It's like suit on top of it. When I assume it was a week after our initial move in, Tom said, Mother, Father, Kronos has allowed us to go outside for a bit, but no more than an hour, okay? At the time, we were baffled and didn't know what he meant. But as soon as Tom opened the front door, we rushed out. Tom looked surprised as if we weren't trapped in there for a week. Then suddenly I felt all my senses again, my hunger, my thirst, my weariness. I didn't make it far out of the house before I collapsed. What the fuck? Also, where are these notes? Oh, it's just on the floor. Look at this bathtub, it's huge. I don't think I can get out of here. Guys, the door doesn't like... The door doesn't open. You got it. Ah! Please, let me out of the bathroom. You had to keep pushing it. Oh my god. Is there a, like, should I just not go in there? Is it a death trap? Who the fuck made this house? Yo, is that a Herman Miller Chase Lounge? The first step is to attract someone to come to the house, not to buy it. This would make Kronos happy. 
more prisoners in his belly. However, I must do it at the time where we are allowed out. I told Tom I would wind the clock for him, so him and Paul left the house together. While I stay in the new owner, while I stay in, the new owner shall come in and wind the clock once more. I must be in there. Otherwise, Kronos will know what's happening. When the new owner goes to wind the clock, I must have the front door open to leave. Otherwise, I will be trapped here with someone that will want me dead. That person won't be able to leave as Kronos always needs someone to wind the clock. That is my plan. The cruelest trap plan someone or to, <laughs> the cruelest plan to trap someone for an eternity. If you read this, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you're here. Um, what? Why? Who the fucking wrote this? Why is my brain melting as I'm trying to read it? When we woke up, it was still night. The doors wouldn't open. The TV service was gone. No calls. Communication was cut off from us. Then little Tom said something really strange. He asked, Mother, why aren't you praising Kronos? He never once referred to me as a mother. Then he started drifting around the house, talking to the golden statues. He never ate. And as soon as we realized... And we soon realized, no matter how long... How long time passed, we required no food, no sleep, no water. Tom also started going into the room with the clock. He would always make sure it was spinning. It was then we realized as the clock moves forward, so does time. Also, the doors trap you inside. Unless you do that. Oh, here it is. Big clock. Nothing's happening. It doesn't even say what time it is. I should turn the hourglass. What? What the fuck? Smart Pro Book 2018. Is that like a Mr. Rogers sweater? I was expecting like a normal size hourglass, not like a gigantic one. Okay. No, not the power. I'm trying to reset the clock, but nothing's happening. Is it not time yet? It's not time yet. Why should I leave? Rewind the grandfather clock. Okay. You can't go in this room either. What a weird fucking idea. I'm trying. <gasps> the next day? What the hell's going on? I should leave now. Okay. Can't. <laughs> what the fuck?
Why did it just? Okay. That makes sense. It just ends. Hmm. Yeah, this one's called The Interference. was that money are we in plato's cave are you familiar with the fall of trojan many have said that the sacrifice of the trojan seer lao Kuan, was necessary for the finding of murder but i beg to differ even with the interference of the gods he believed in the truth until the end. Do you have what it takes to open your eyes? Remember, there is always a price to pay. Wouldn't it be the fall of Troy? Carefully and don't talk. We're in serious trouble. They are coming for you, and I'll be next. That phone made out of chocolate. All it looks like it's made out of that, milk chocolate. Leave nothing behind. I would not let them have Athena. Do not forget to bring those test tubes with you. I'll meet you at the usual place. Nah, nah, I don't think the bot's on right now. Burn all the evidence, retrieve the test tubes, find the escape route. What? Dr. Morgan, we know you're in there. Hand over Dr. these reports Morgan. this will end badly. Come out now while we're still being nice. I still have things to do before I can leave. Where's the papers? I need the papers. Dr. Morgan. Mr. Anderson. I don't see anything else, bro. Oh, burn it. Bounce. The address of silence when it is placed in the wrong hands. Greed plagues humanity like a disease. Man's pride and selfishness is nothing but chaos. Would men follow their own footsteps if they knew destruction awaits? Perhaps is a snake in there? That is what they wish for. Day has been all right. <gasps> the fuck? Copy. Do you copy, soldier? Good. We can finally reach you. We thought you were a gunner. Now, you know the drill. Put bullets to those monsters and stay alive. Rescue will be there in three minutes, so hang in there. <sighs> Jesus. Boah. 
Kind of hurt him up. Too far away. Oh my god. I don't worry about it. I think I killed them all. I oh know they're respawning. Why am I just like here by myself, anyways? <laughs> I, I kind of like the sound effect, but. Alright, I think that's it. Oh. I love how this is like the basic level of. Like game guru or something like that. And they're like, yeah, it's a dream you're having. It works at least, kind of. Oh, yeah, it's like a vector. It's like an SMG, not really like a rifle. Paid one coin for this? Also, who's Kronos? Is he the same as like the Greek god or what? Roman god? Bleh. Yeah, everything's just made out of like chocolate. Like the ground is made out of hot chocolate dust. The phone was made out of milk chocolate. It's like Willy Wonka's dream or something like that. Do you hear that? Look up. That's your ride. Well done, soldier. Let's get you out of there. It's gonna crash! Ah. Now that your eyes are open, do you remember who you are? You, Lao Kwan's reincarnation, <laughs> are given the chance to rewind humanity's mistakes. Oh. And this time, the gods are on our side. Okay. It is complete. This discovery is going to reshape the future. The gods have answered my prayers. Prayers. I will name this Athena. As war will befall upon this world, I shall have the world at my mercy. Come to my study, and don't tell a soul about this. Who took my blanket? But... I think the Greek gods are planning some kind of coup. That was bizarre. That was a little bizarre. All right. Let's call it Lurks Outside. Hello? Who is that? Is that who I think it is? Are they outside?
What? It <laughs> just... <laughs> oh, it stopped. Is there just going to be like some awful jump scare or what? And it just ends. All right. Weird game. Did that scare you, though? Very scary. Very scary. Oh, this one's not capturing. Oh, there we go. Okay. Seven forty nine AM Monday. I've always dreamed about getting a real job in the big city. Today is the day, my big shot. I hope I don't blow it. Yours truly. Uh no, no sound yet. No, there's definitely no sound at that part. Hmm. <laughs> Try it out. Stain financial. Keep moving, pal. No loitering. Badge. There's something so strange about that. <laughs> Welcome to Stain Financial. How can I help you? Here for the interview? Great. Have a it looks like she has two long fingernails. On, like... Looks like she has one big pointer finger and a thumb. Doesn't it? Also gear. Thanks for the raid, dude. What's going on, everybody? What's going on? Ah. I think this is the same person who made uh, Night of the Consumers or something like that. Are you here working for Lork, too? I'd wish you luck, but I don't want to zorch my chances. Oh, <laughs> the fucking sound effects. M. Stain will see you now. Please follow me. No, I don't think so. Alright, I'll follow you. This hallway is a little weird. It'd be cool if it started getting, like, smaller. It's your master bedroom! Good luck! Dinner. Thank you for that. that sub dude. Or Denneru. Like I said the exact same thing last time. Thank you for that resub though. 
Is this supposed to be like Beetlejuice? Good morning. I'd say I'm pleased to meet you, but I don't wish to get ahead of myself. Please take a seat. Choose your chair. Uh. Very interesting choice. Are you feeling comfortable? Yes. Very good. I want you to be thinking clearly. As I'm sure you're aware, I am a millionaire playboy, M. Stain. Do you know what the M stands for? Wrong. It stands for nothing. Now let us see what you stand for. I'll show you a series of items. Choose the one which best represents your personality. Inside this cabinet are three of my most prized possessions. Here we have a carved ivory fox. In its exquisite, it's exquisite in form, but useless in function. Oh. Next, an antique newspaper. A snapshot of days long dead, and yet much of its information is still of use. Oh. Finally, a well-worn saw. Singular in its purpose, it exists to create division. Oh. What the fuck? How deep do you think this goes? How deep? How deliciously morbid. I knew I saw something in you. <laughs> Let us talk of compensation. I'm going to make you an offer. Think quickly. Uh, oh. Hereby swear my eternal soul into the service of... Uh, yes. Unimpressed with my offer. It's far more than you deserve. Perhaps you need some time to think it over. No! No! Oh, oh shucks! Oh. They got you too, partner. Don't worry, we'll find a way out. They absented with my six shooters, but I'm sure we can find something around here that'll help. What? Save yourself? like some kind of machine. Yeah, machine. Yes. Oh. Hot dog! Shut it off! It's a man crusher! Oh. Sorry, buddy. It brings you back up. Oh, he's gone. Look, he's got like a bird. Sorry, partner. Gonna have to crush ya. Is, is this the way I came in? Are we in the monster's ass? Oh, shit. Oh, it's one of these. Not very loud. But it's the same office. Is 
Is that the saw? This is really cool. I don't know how they did that. That was neat. Stain Estates. Like that transition was so, so, so cool. I wasn't expecting that much style in this game, but. Oh, I didn't talk to him. Enjoying the ride? This is all very exciting, I'm sure. Who are they? An unseen force prevents my escape. A final sacrifice. Yeah, man. I should have written man. That's what I wanted to. And I was like, mango. Someone left a dollar here. Will you take the dollar? Hell yeah. You got a dollar. I've lost my moral compass. I mean, I did just crush a man with a wall. Is that just like straight up porn? That's not good. Can we interest you in a complimentary cocktail this evening? I think it was just like Playboy stuff. So. Consume. Sure. Also, this looks like E.T. Like old man E.T. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. You got tipsy. I've earned this. Feeling better? Have a great night. Should I tip? Yeah. No thanks. I can't possibly accept it. If you like, you could play my favorite song on the jukebox. It's called Old Ramblin' Rattler. I don't have a quarter. I have a dollar. Can I just use the dollar? Is there a quarter machine? What the fuck? Uh -uh. Hold it, buddy. You can't come in without a membership card. Oh! A dead goat. You got a goat? I wish she was still alive. There's a key in the toilet. Key for room 3A. The shadow line. Thank for that year of resubs. We're doing well. Some kind of. A monster. Oh, okay. I don't think I want to. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't have just, like, this game is super popular in each right now. I don't think it's going to be anything that crazy, but just in case. Just in case. The birds of paradise, the humiliation. Oh, yeah, it is fucking weird. This is very bizarre. What the fuck? This is strange. It's not safe to look at.
Huh. That's a, I don't know. There's something about that game that seems really interesting, but I don't think I'm going to finish it on stream. It gets fucking crazy from there. From, from what I can tell. Maybe I'll play it on Discord later or something like that. What was it? I mean, what do you, what do you think it was? <clears throat> well, it wasn't what you would think it was. It was bizarre, though. It's basically like, you ever seen like Blue Velvet? David Lynch movie. There's just like some, some strange things that start to happen. Saber Beast. Okay. There's a prize pool? That was called M. Stain. Blue Velvet is just like a film that David Lynch directed that has Kyle McLaughlin in it before he was in Twin Peaks and stuff, but it has like a lot of fucking crazy shit in it. Dennis Hopper being a crazy bastard. It's a good movie, but it has moments where you would be very uncomfortable watching it with certain people. What the hell is this? Like, it seems like it could be cool, but I don't think it would be okay to play it on Twitch at that point. I mean, if you've ever played Duke Nukem before, you know what happens when you sit down in, like, a theater like that. Aliens come out and try to kill you. No, but... Come on. You knew what that was. <clears throat> when it had like some some naked ladies in the wall in the bar I was like questioning it it's like yeah it's just an aesthetic purpose there's other games with boobs in them but then it went a little too far hmm what the fuck is this like an alien detecting gun nah blue velvet's like way better than than that that film is a joke yeah we got a gold rune here What? This guy looks familiar. Horror Tooth? Is that from Doom? The fuck is that guy? The Saber Beast. Okay, who the fuck is this? I kind of see what's going on here. This is supposed to be like a dungeon crawling survival game where you like collect the things, avoid the monsters. I just want to get killed by one of the monsters. Yeah, it was called M Stain. It seems like it could be really neat, but just a little too spicy for Twitch. Like, I've never seen the scene transition in a Unity game like that, where it's like... You're standing in a room, then the walls move, and all of a sudden you're outside. Like, that was really neat. I've seen it a few times, but... <gasps> the fuck is it? This is a little guy. You could fight him. What? Ah! Save a 
zombies! What the fuck is this guy? Oh, no! <laughs> okay. He's just like a beast man with a sword. I respect that. You can fight him. Not very successfully, though. Oh, yeah, I got to get to dusk one of these days. All right. Did I do this one? Nightmare number one? Yep. Lurks outside. The Backwoods Massacre. Check it out. At first, I thought he was another, like, animal-killing man, but it's just a dude with a horse head on. What? Why? Yes. You return home to your cabin to find it overrun by squatters or maybe campers. Time to don your mask and your machete and clean them out. Do they not even care? Oh, they do. Yeah, at least this game has. <laughs> oh, you can see into the mask. That's funny. Ah! You like lose momentum as soon as you swing though. You like get in front of them and then swing. It's a little weird. You're going. Huh? Why would they run towards him? Oh, shit. She's getting away. Is that a guy just hiding there? Or is he dead? Get him! Was he in the bathroom? Well, apparently it's his house, and he came home, and they're in his house, so he's just killing them. So, makes sense. That's the nudity, someone in the shower. I mean, technically, I think that would even be okay. It's not like gratuitous at all or anything. Like the Witcher. Or even like Conan. Yeah, I gotta play Dreams at some point. Yo, is this a fucking Zelda tunnel? Excuse me? A room before the bathroom. Uh, oh. 
How did you not see what was going on here, man? Investigate the outhouse. Enter the drain. It looks like while you're away on holiday, the creatures from down the drain came up and stole your toilet. You better go back down and get it. Enter the drain. That's what this is over here. Are you kidding me? What the fuck? Oh, fucking bear trip. Dude, there's goblins down here. They have no regard for their own life at all. Look <laughs> at the blood. Just like spraying out. Let's go deeper. Is this just Dark Souls now? Rip and tear. Yeah, they all on the same toga on. Oh, you can do two at once. Okay. What if you just run by them? Oh, there's a big one. hear the ambient sound there's like a kid talking oh my god you just did so much damage I feel like I'm stuck somewhere. Step. <gasps> the jump attack had no effect. Yeah, this is like Dark Souls 3.
They're the same plot, too. Maybe even better. I don't know. You drop down. Get time better. One more! Slaughtered. Did you see that style too for that last hit? I am the king. Get a little fart joke in there. Can't really expect much more than that. <clears throat> Lake McKinnon. I like that. It had a beginning, middle, and an end. And, uh, there was a climatic ending to it. Wasn't confusing. All right, time to go to sleep. See you later. Seems like I'm in another dream. Hopefully it'll be better than the last time. What was the last time? Didn't I play this one already? I don't think so. Maybe. It's a big ass room. It's my closet again. I probably shouldn't. What? Look in it. Gonna need to upgrade at some point. I still can't believe the deal I got on this thing. I guess, what? I still can't. I guess garage sales can be worth it sometimes. Is that a camera? Oh, yeah, I remember that. Okay, yeah, I think I did play this. Blocked. I remember the shadow. Doors. <laughs> yeah, I remember now. Do I remember? Am I having a false memory? I don't remember any of this. I wonder if taking a shower in a dream will wake me up. Still need to get this thing fixed. It's locked. Yeah, maybe we all dreamed the game up. Yeah, it's possible. Oh, shit. I can see you. Maybe I should toss out some leftovers when I wake up again. Wish I knew how to cook. But how do you have a kitchen like that? I remember the inky chair. Mm. 
Oh, I remember that guy. Kind of. I remember that. Kind of. What? What is this? You found a key and a flashlight in your pocket. You think it's time to get out of here? Whoa. Hello? Oh, right, this lady. Hi. You had another nightmare. Or wait, had another, I'm saying that, had another nightmare. Oh, well, I guess I should just get ready for the day. <laughs> Was she in there the whole time? There's the PC lady. You saw what queued up? Undo. Thank you for playing. Yeah, a couple of these have been repeats. Forgotten tunnels. Hmm. This could be a VR game. Guess we'll find out. Going into the tunnels. Not working. I hit play and immediately broke. And I have no control over it. One more time. That's it. Unless it's like loading. Give it a second. I don't think it's going to work. I don't think it's going to work. Yeah, that's not loading anything. Yeah, the Unsolved Mysteries reboot was okay. It was good, but it wasn't Unsolved Mysteries. Like, I really did enjoy it, but it's not like it was the same show. They should have probably just called it something else, in my opinion. There's a lot of shows like that that they kind of like redo or remake and they tag on the original name. And it's just not the same. Yeah, even when they had the other guy that wasn't Robert Stack, the show went on for a long time, but it wasn't the same. A murder in time. I found him. The murderer. The one I've been after for so long. It's been four years since we first met. Four years since the day he took a light for the first time. I'm not mistaken. He's hiding somewhere in those abandoned warehouses. I've obtained a key to the garage door, and I will pay him a visit today, just after 8 p.m. It will be raining today. It's the perfect weather for my final victory over this ma Whenever someone makes a typo like that, I can't not read it like Mario. It's a perfect weather for my final victory over this maniac. If I find him, I don't know what I'll do. If I let him live, I hope he'll spend the rest of his life locked away. This time will be different. This time, everything will work out perfectly. Thank you for playing my game. Some weird tires. Ugh. Warehouse key. I left you this key. Remember to thank me later. 
Wine would be nice. Trish. Hey, Trish. Why would you waste that whole piece of paper? Is that a man with a cardboard bag over his head? Why was he doing that? Why was he doing that? Anything else in here? You need the main warehouse key to open this door. I have it. I have the key. Don't I? <gasps> the fuck? As I opened the door, I saw him in the corner of my eye. The murderer approached me and I sprung outside. It was raining on the ground was slippery. I fell. I hope this dream won't turn out to be real. Not in day like this. Not in the most important day of my life. What? Hmm. Hmm. Should I try it again? But just so he's because he saw me, I died. Yeah, I just played it a little while ago. It's behind you. Murder. Yeah, he's just was like standing in there. I was like, just kind of hanging out. What about this other dude? Is he bad? Are you bad? <laughs> Is it the sound of the rain? I just woke up. I felt terrible. Like if I've just died. I had a terrible dream. I just can't recall anything about it. I hope this doesn't mean something bad. Today's the day I'll do it. Today is the day I will kill him. This is very confusing. Oh, that's the key. What is he doing? I think I saw something in this room. Hi, Abby. I hope you'll see it when hope you'll see it when you'll be at work next time at work. I found something strange in our documents. There were notes about something called Time Stealer. Are those yours? If so, then you are very creative. I didn't knew you were writing books. Kev. Love Kev. Kev. I'm not a little too strong, man. Probably shouldn't leave this note randomly in the filing room either. I don't think there's any way to beat this game. Unless there's like a key chilling in this room. Coming out a little heavy, Kev. Hmm. I think I checked all these. Office key? See any other keys? Like anywhere. I 
I don't know. I think that's the whole game. Kind of looks like there's a trap door there. You see that? I think it's just the light coming out of that room. What if I get the murderer to kill the that guy? <gasps> what if they both... No? I can't make them fight each other? Yeah, I wanted to get them to fight each other. Also, the killer's eyes looks like that movie... Uh... What do you call it? 13 or something like that? Remember there's like a straw bag monster? And his eyes were green? I think it was called 13. Did that one. There's another Siren Head game that just came out. Nine. That's what it was called. Thank you. That's what his eyes That's remind me of. About the weird occurrences of sound in this area. And I thought you would be the perfect plumber to fix the siren. Since you haven't what? done much today. So, you only have to go to the village and fix the siren. Check out what the problem is supposed to be. You should be able to finish in no time. Come to my office for payment, and then you can go home. Look after yourself. What? So this is that Trevor Henderson Siren Head game. Well, not Trevor Henderson, but his creation. I don't know who, who made this one. Shiny car, though. Can't go over there. This music's kind of interesting. What the fuck? Is that pizza? Hello, sir. Is the damn thing working? All right. <clears throat> <laughs> so. People reported these weird noises around the area, and I don't think these sounds are coming from random speakers in the forest. I think the siren is the main problem here. It could be broken. Nah, it's his own thing. I've been here a very long time, and I've never encountered anything like this. So, boss, could you send someone to fix the damn siren? Please and thank you. Please and thank you. That is a weird... Gas can. I've never okay. seen one else like that. He sent a plumber, but it already <clears throat> took him a day for him to arrive. According to the boss, the guy's name is Sam, which reminds me of a good friend from college. Well, at least uh, I hear it. My boring day a little bit better. <laughs> Just had to make another audio log. When is this guy gonna arrive? It's already been two hours, and I don't see anyone coming. The siren keeps getting louder. I'm trying to do something. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, shit. Now I got a headache. Sony will make a movie of it. 2030. Oh, that was good. You know you're going to need that. No, we're probably going to need that. What the fuck? Hmm. This rock is very peculiar. I don't trust it. You know what would be a neat ability for Siren Head if he could just like 
You know how the Mirage tanks in Command and Conquer just turned to trees? If he could do that. I think that would add to his, uh, his mythos. If he could just be a tree randomly. <clears throat> like, you know how there's cell phone towers they try to make look like trees? If that's what he looked like when he was a tree, though. Like, instead of an he just turns into, like, a, a cell phone tower tree. I think that would be kind of cool. The fuck does that say? Tom, need one more? Tor, need one more? Yeah, this reminds me of that other game. Siren Head game. I saw this thing tore the poor guy apart. I don't think the police can handle this, so I have to figure it out myself. So, if you're reading this, run away from this place. Okay. Yeah, he becomes a 5G tower. Dude, that would be badass. Hmm. He was the 5G all along. We didn't listen. It was him. Damn, this generator's out of gas. Yeah, just like I thought we were gonna fucking be out of gas. Are we gonna get attacked by him? Where is he? I don't see him. Oh, you can't run through the woods. I don't like this tree. I don't trust that tree. It's all dead and shit. I think that's Siren Head. Ah! Who was that? What the fuck was that? That actually gave me a little startle. I need to keep him. And I don't see so much. Oh, yeah. Someone was like talking in that. I keep getting weird signals. Very scary. Hey, it's just a Minecraft guy. Like how there's just like a three story building in the middle of the forest. Oh, there he is again. It's like Mothman. Minecraft Mothman. Hey, folks. That deal who deals with the siren must have gone crazy. This thing never stops. I'm going to go ask this guy what's wrong with him. Who is that written to? Oh, shit. Alright, that was kind of cool. I like that. Oh, you're not dead? Oh, you wake up in a tree? Hello? Tom Hanks? End of demo. I can respect that. That was pretty cool. Stone gold! Bust in! 
still in a tree. There's been so many Siren Head fan games lately. At least they did something a little different. I wasn't expecting that, I guess. I think that's all of them. That's everything. I had downloaded for now. That's all of them. Um, I'll probably be back a little bit later on. I just want